Hello, this is Mrs. Heisenmull, and today we are going to do our second slide, which is the tunnel slide. Uh, and I'm basically reading from the Project Lead the Way directions for the tunnel slide. First step is a standard IPT or standard part file. We get that open. And it says create a rectangle. So I'm going to create a basic rectangle, right click done, and I will dimension it to 120 inches on the X. That's the bottom, going across the bottom is the X, so that's going to be 120 inches on the X, and it's going to be 132 inches on the Y. So I'm going to select the Y, 132. Now I need to make it a little bigger so I can actually see what I did. So there is my opening for my slide. And it says draw true lines through the rectangle and dimension them to 36 inches from the top and 36 inches from the bottom. Well, I'm not even going to try and do it. I'm just going to line it up so that I have straight lines done. And then I do a second line down here, and it just has to cut through the rectangle. So right click done, and now I'm going to dimension it to bottom line at 36 inches and to the top line at 36 inches and there we go. So now that's step four. Step five says trim and delete all lines except the top right and the bottom left vertical lines. Well I can't trim anything that has a dimension on it. So the first thing I have to do is I have to go through and I have to take the dimensions off. You're going to say, well, you just put them on there. Yes, I did. And now I'm going to delete them because I already have them. I don't need them again. I'm deleting the dimensions off of there. In fact, I'm going to delete all of my dimensions before I start trimming. And it'll just make my life easier. So now I'm going to go to trim. I want to keep this line. So I need to delete all or trim out all the other ones. Whoops, edit. I can't notice this doesn't go all the way through now. Oops. So back up. So I need to get rid of this one. I need to get rid of this line, but I can't get rid of... Oops, trim. So what I want to do is I want to get rid of the sections that I don't need. And I don't want to take out the center section, because if I do, then I can't take out this section here, which I desperately need to remove. So we will be removing everything. Now I can take this out, because I don't need it now. And I need this bottom out. I need that gone. I need this gone. And I need that little snippet there gone. So now I'm done snipping. And there's my two lines. I have a top vertical line on the right-hand side, and I have a bottom left vertical line. So that would be step five. Step six says draw a line at the bottom of the left vertical line and make it come out 18 inches. So what I'm doing is I'm just using my scrolly mouse to zoom in the scrolly wheel on my mouse. I'm making, now that goes to a green dot, that's a snap dot. That means that I am connected to the bottom of the line. I'm gonna right click done that line and I'm dimensioning that line out to 18 inches. I'm going to say, well, why 18? You're going to see in a second why 18. So it comes out to 18 inches, and these are on your directions. And so what I now need to do is I need to use a spline command, which is step 7. And it is not as easy as you think it is. <laughs> First off, we're going to do the top. So we're going to go from the top of this line to the top of this line. And to do that, we're going to click spline. We're going to come over here. It goes to a green dot that's con connected. Then I'm going to come out. You see where I get the, oh, there it is. Where did it go? There. That's right. That's matching up with my 18-inch line that I can't really see. But I need it to come up before I get to that 18 inches. And then I'm going to go from there up to here and see it's going to become a green dot again. Once it becomes a green dot, I click and then I can right click create. It's over here on the side and I'm done with the top. So now I'm going to get my little hand and I'm going to drag down so I can see the bottom better because I really want to be able to see because it's right up against that origin line which is kind of a pain. So I'm going to click spline again. I'm going to come over here, get my green dot, come up over here and notice I get a I get a dot right there where it says hey you're matching up right there. So I'm going to match up. I'm going to come over here, green dot, click, 
right click create right click done and now I'm going to zoom out so you can see the whole thing all at once and that's what I have and you're going to say that doesn't look much like a slide and it certainly doesn't look much like the one in the picture you're right it doesn't so I'm going to mess with it a little I'm going to take this and drag it in a little bit so it curves a little bit more and I can kind of try and line these up because basically I just need to, and I think I want to slide this up maybe this way just a smidge so it opens that up a little bit more. Now you can, there we go, that opens that up a little bit more. You can actually click along as you go, but I find it actually much easier to just make one click, two clicks, three clicks to get your spline the way you want it. So now, once you get your spline all the way the way you want it, then you are on to step 10 if you don't go above the y-axis. So basically, they're talking about practicing with it. So we're done with that. We're going to finish the sketch, step 11. We are now going to extrude the sketch. Click on the line, click on extrude, and it's coming out 36 inches. You're going to say, wow, that's big. Yes, well, you got to slide through it. <laughs> So it's got to come out quite a ways. So we've extruded it 36 inches. Now we're going to use our shell command, which is probably the easiest thing we've done so far. And we're going to say, yes, we want to remove the faces. We're going to click here, and we're going to click on the faces we want to remove, which means I have to flip the whole thing back around so I can remove this face as well. And then we want it to be at a thickness of 3 inches. And, okay, see, now it's telling me, okay, it's already, it must have already removed the faces. So let's hit OK and see what happens. There we go. And hit Home and notice I can turn this just a little bit here. Let me grab my tool. And you can actually see all the way through to the bottom, just like if it were a real slide. So there's my tube slide. And I realize it looks a little funny, but you need a flat space here on the bottom just so that you can land when you come out of your slide. So you're all done with your tube slide. Feel free to back up these directions if you need some more help.